So I don't know if you've noticed, but the Nintendo Switch has been selling like absolute crazy and there seems to be nothing stopping it. No 4K consoles, no brand new cutting edge technology, nothing stopping the Switch from succeeding. And a lot of people worried about the Switch when it initially came out. A lot of people thought this was going to be Wii U Part 2. No rhyme intended. But what did it end up being? A technical marvel that shocked so many people on how beautiful of an idea it really was and how nice the console really was to the point now we have two versions and a Switch Pro that could be on the way. But with all this amazing stuff happening with Nintendo and the Switch, there's only one thing to really wonder about. What's the future when it comes to Nintendo? And a lot of investors have been thinking the same thing and that got me thinking on what I should make a video about today. So NintendoLife.com recently reported that Nintendo's investors are trying to talk Nintendo into doing every few years updating the Switch and just keeping that a console that they continue to make for years. Who knows, maybe even 10 to 15 years, never change it. Just keep making new iterations of the same thing every so many years to try to incentivize owners to buy a new one. Maybe set them up on a payment plan like we have the Xbox Series X and the Xbox Series S. You never know. I think that this could work, but I feel as if a couple things have to change. Number one would have to change is this idea of a 4K Switch Pro would definitely be able to come out, but the ones that they're going to sell every year like an iPhone, like I bet you they'll be the Switch Lights. The ones that they would sell every year like an iPhone, like the new Switch Lights every year, they would have to make them a little bit underpowered and hold them back so that they can give you a little more new technology every couple years. And I feel like in the long run, that's kind of a bad idea. Like look at Apple's iPhones, guys, for example. As you guys can see, they get hardly better as the years go on. It'd be really nice to have an iPhone that was really, really powerful, but it just will not happen, guys. And, you know, Android's been ahead of Apple for years and years, and Apple implements one feature that Android's had for six years, and Apple users go crazy. And I'm not saying that I'm not one of them. I am an Apple user. I've been using an iPhone since I was young. I'm not hating on an Apple. I actually really like their products. This is being recorded on an Apple MacBook. But what I have to say is... I feel like it would be nicer to have it work as a seven year console generation like they said that they're about halfway through the Switch's life. I feel like it should work that way. I don't want to see the Switch come out to be a cell phone service type of subscription thing and I feel that it is not good for the long run of the company because people will get burned out and fatigued with Nintendo and say what happened to Nintendo. They used to innovate and now they just make the same exact thing every single year without ever changing it. So that's my thoughts on that situation but do you guys agree with me? Because I'm thinking about this this way, okay? I'm thinking why would we get a new switch every three years they're not going to make that much improvements every three years you need like six plus to make actual improvements in my opinion at least that's what gaming has shown us who knows if they're just holding them back for the next generation i have no idea but based on what gaming has showed me i feel that we need at least six years to see a visible difference in terms of progress some people are saying that 4k to 1080p isn't even that big of a deal i disagree with that but there are people out there saying that like i mean i can see it a little bit like look at ghost of tsushima versus a game that's coming out on the next generation consoles it looks better than almost every single Xbox Series X game and a lot of the PS5 games. But I see what people are saying there, but I don't agree with the fact that 1080p and 4K are compatible. I think they're totally different. That's my thoughts when it comes to this. If you agree with me, let me know down below. If you disagree with me, let me know down below. I'd love to have a conversation with you guys. I think it'd be really fun. Drop me a comment. Even subscribe, guys. I know a lot of people have been subscribing lately. I want to thank each and every one of you guys. Don't forget to enter our giveaway. We are giving away a copy of Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity. And as always, thank you for watching. Jimmy out of here. Thanks for the support.